Hey kids, welcome to another Glen Yaps, I should say show and tell. Uh, I'm just doing this because uh, people out there are bored, I'm bored, and just looking for things to do. Um, I don't know if many remember the, the toys we used to get out of cereal boxes. Um, this, I believe, is from the 70s. And I believe it used to come in shreddies. I had a few of these propeller boats. This one is not uh, totally put together. I have one um, in another box of goodies that's all put together with the rubber band and stuff. But this one you still have to take this bar off. Oops. I guess better hold it up. Right here, pontoon boat with the propeller. And this shaft here, you have to snap it off the pegs and put it on the back sticks out like here about here and you put the rubber band wind it up and it goes in the water I used to collect all these things in the cereal boxes just for the hell of it and I used to enter contests with uh, sending box tops to get a, a toy or whatever I have some of the toys and I'll show you uh, in, a, in a little bit but right now we'll start with this one my camera is probably running out of battery power. The next one is this baby. Trying to get the lights to shine on it right. This is a 1970 toy. It's a tin Mustang. It's Japanese tin. The company is Bandai. Hope I pronounced that right. This was my favorite toy when I was a kid got some marks on it. Um, I'll do a little video of how it operates. Uh, the wheels underneath turn. This is battery operated. Takes two C batteries. Most of the old toys used to run off batteries back when we were kids. This little bar here, what this car does, it's a stunt car. When it's going down the floor it goes so far that then it goes up on it to its side because of this little bar. It's got a wheel on it. it. Goes on two wheels and then it kicks it and rolls the car over. It's like stunts. So it's a little bit scratched. Not so much scratched but smudged on the top. But my favorite toy when I was a kid. Since 1970. And it's uh, near mint. And um, I had this, a dune buggy and a Volkswagen. And uh, unfortunately, the Volkswagen and the dune buggy are long gone. I don't know what happened to them, but I, I hung on to this. And it's still got the original box. I'm sure it's probably worth some bucks, but uh, none of the stuff's for sale. I just love this stuff. Just one of those deals. I just can't grow up. Yeah, so I'll show you a couple other uh, toys. Or not toys, but uh, cereal box stuff, and uh, and then I'll put a video of the car running, and then uh, we'll wrap it up. Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're doing a test on my tin car and see if it works out here. My floors are too slippery inside the house. Anyways, here she goes. 1970 Bundai tin car. No, it's even worse. Hey. Oh. 
working good now. Yeah, I grabbed a few things that were uh, cereal box type things that I I got. Most will remember this little character. That's a mug and cereal bowl. Woody Woodpecker back in the late 60s when I was a little tyke. I was born in 62. Um, cereal box tops send away three box tops, something like that. And uh, you got this cereal bowl set. I actually have two of them. I have my sisters, we each, each got a set. So it's in my collection. And this is original. I don't have the date exact on it, but I was a little kid. I can't really see it on here. Yeah, there's no date on it. But definitely, uh, you used to get lots of cool stuff with box tops. This is another one set. These are Matchbox. It's a Matchbox Mustang with steerable wheels. Got a little shifter on here to turn the wheels. Like that. And this camper. Now you could probably buy those anywhere at the time. I'm sure of it actually. But um, Captain Crunch Cereal had uh, box top giveaways with matchbox cars. These are two of the ones that I got, but there was a few others too and We were poor when we were, we were younger um, At the single parent at the time which was my mom so that's what we used to do when we bought cereal We bought cereal got our toys through box tops And sometimes you'd have to send like 25 cents along with it but you just mailed it away and you know like four weeks later you got uh, your toy in and the last thing, believe it or not, this is a watch. My very, very first watch. My parents bought me this um, when I graduated uh, um, out of elementary school. So, um, Kind of funky looking. It's a Timex. It doesn't work anymore. It says it's waterproof. But uh, it was so small it doesn't fit my wrist anymore. But, like I say, I kept it. You know, it's probably worth uh, 13 cents. But uh, for the memory factors, endless for me. Anyways, that's it for the show and tell today. And I hope you enjoyed the stunt car performance. Um, don't get to run it too often, but I like to run them once in a while because some of these motors and these cars, uh, if you don't run them once in a while, they end up seizing up. All right, thanks for watching.